<laughs> You're rolling. I am right now? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. I get to pretend you go three. Hi, this is Christy Whitman with the Quantum Success Show, where you can get your information and inspiration to create your desires. And today I want to talk about true personal power and really what happens when we lose our power. I know so many times people are like, oh, this person pushes my buttons. How can I be neutral to this person? How can I not get so upset when my mom says something? Or, you know, how can I not be so out of my head and have my head explode when my kids are doing certain things? It's all the same thing. It's all about aligning and connecting with your own power, with your own energy. And let me explain this. Typically what happens with most of us, and I know I do this a lot and I have to rein myself back in, is a lot of our energy, a lot of our focus, everything goes outside of us to the other person. So many times when I used to be with my mom, she, they're like, she would push my buttons like nobody's business. She was the, <laughs> the official button pusher. And I would get around her and I would like literally leave my body. And I would, I, all of my energy, all my focus would be on her and overanalyzing what she says and super sensitive to her energy. So I was nowhere inside my body. And the only place that our personal power lies is within our body. So let me give you an example. Right here, right now, as you're sitting here watching, most of us are in our heads, right? Drop down, take a breath, drop down into your heart. Feel like your chest area. Inside your body, feel your chest area. And then breathe even more down into your power center. Your power center is about two inches above your navel, two inches above your belly button. So allow yourself to even drop your energy and sense within your physical body, your power center. Go even deeper, take another deep breath in, coming from your head all the way down to your heart center, into your power center, feel your energy all the way to the tip of your toes. Feel your body being supported by the chair that you're sitting in. So I'm sitting here on this chair and there's gravity points that are literally supporting my body. If the chair wasn't here, I'd fall back over. So those points that are being held by the chair, feel that up against your back. Feel your hips being supported. Right now, you definitely are in your body. If you're doing what I'm saying and you're feeling that and sensing that, you're in your body. Now imagine you're completely in your body like this. You're connected to your heart, connected to your power center, connected to you. It even allows you to align and go deeper, feeling and sensing energy. So for example, maybe you want to sense the feeling of abundance. Now that you're in your body, generate what it feels like to feel abundance right here in this moment. Allow yourself to connect even more to it and expand it even more. This is the key to personal power. One, being connected to yourself and two, expanding it even more. So if you want to then have, imagine that your mom or your child or your boss or whomever, you know, you feel like you get knocked off or even the subject of money, whatever it is for you, feel that thing, that person now coming in your energy field. And instead of putting all of your attention on them or all your attention on the money or all your attention on losing yourself, Stay very grounded in your own body, just imagining them in your field, but being able to be with them, even with that energy of that top subject, maybe it's money again, and still stay connected, feeling the tip of your toes, the tip of your fingers, the tip of your head, and all of your energy, energy centers in between. Making sure to just get out of your head, so we need to use our minds, we need our heads, but drop into your heart and in your power center too. And when that happens, there's a neutrality that happens. Yes, you can still be hurt or have hurt feelings and things like that if someone says something to you. But now you're in your body. And it's like, well, that felt like an ouch. 
instead of just completely getting knocked off like what I used to do. That really is the key to personal power. It's the key to transitioning into any um, emotional issue that you have, uh, a lot of issues that you have with, say, money or things that you need to clear up, is you always need to center yourself within yourself, expand your energy, make it your energy as beautiful as you can, and then connect with the other person. So that's key to your personal power. You have that personal power. You have that ability right now. You don't need to buy anything. You don't need to do anything. It's right there, available to you. You were born with it. Just know that you are a deliberate creator. I would love to feel, or to hear what you're feeling right now, how this has literally impacted you if you've really got into this exercise with me. Let me know, continue the conversation with me. Let me know below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by going to christywhitman.com, putting in your name and your email address so that I can consistently communicate back and forth and inspire you and inform you every single week. Thank you so much and have a great week.